besides Yuppie. First of all, this doesn't taste like coke at all. It's very rich, flavorful, and super easy. None of my friends could tell it was cooked with coke and they loved it. There are some good reasons that a coke can make pork so tasty and I like to explain while cooking this. Let's get started! Hajime! First, cut the lump of pork shoulder or pork belly into half inch slices. I uploaded a short video before for cock pork and in this short, I didn't cut the pork to shorten the cooking time. But this time, I'm cutting into two bite sizes since it will be much more tender and have some more salt. Season with salt and pepper on both sides of the pork. Put the pork with your hands to blend the seasoning. Next, not a must, but if you can, tenderize the pork with a fork or knife. Here are the reasons why this cork braised pork is so good. 1. Tenderization. The acidity and the sugar in cork can help tenderize the pork, making it more tender and moist and succulent as it simmers in the stew. 2. Depth of flavor. The caramel nuts in cork can add the depth to the flavor profile of the stew. And it's delicious! So I love this dish! Add some sesame oil in the big pot. Today I'm cooking two portions for my friend's visit, so add in two tablespoons of oil. Add the pork and distribute evenly to get grill marks. Cook on medium heat. Pork belly is good for this recipe. But I prefer using pork butt that has just a few fat parts to avoid excess fat. Cook until they get these nice grill marks on all sides. This is looking so good! Then get rid of the excess oil before the cock is added. Now the fun part! I added 2 cans of coke since I'm cooking 2 portions this time, but usually it's 1 coke for 1 portion. Regular can, long can, it doesn't really matter, you can use both. I add soy sauce. Again, this is for 2 portions, but the recipe in the description is for 1 portion. Add some garlic paste. Minced garlic or sliced garlic works too. Mix well and cook for about 40 minutes over low heat. Put a lid on to keep the sauce from evaporating. Stir a few times while cooking to make sure it doesn't get burnt. If you have more meat or less cook, it will burn easily. So add a little more coke or water. If you want a more complex flavor, I recommend adding a little Chinese pipe spices. It elevates the flavor like a pro. Finally done! It's serving time! The stew is quite rich in taste, so it goes great with rice. This is super easy and my husband loves it, so I cook it quite often. Not too sweet, not too salty, but rich and wholesome in flavor. Make sure you put some sauce on top since it's so good. You can also cook the sauce a little longer to make it thicker if you want. With the green onion, it looks perfect. The pork became so tender and moist thanks to the cook. Day 2 of this cock braised pork is so much better than day 1, so make a lot and enjoy for a few days. Thank you for watching! Arigatou gozaimasu! See you again! Mata ne!